So we are standing uh, at the site that is associated with the town of Germana. Uh, the town of Germana was, we kind of say it was officially formed around 1724. And that wi was when the um, first Spotsylvania County Courthouse, we think, um, was completed here. Um, and also at that time there was a church and a jail and probably an ordinary. And so the town of Germana was actually pretty small. So this was this was the Spotsylvania County Courthouse back then? Uh, yeah, so it was in this area and we are currently digging in this foundation, um, which we think is related to the courthouse. Um, it's a theory that we have right now. We have not confirmed that theory yet. When you do something like this, is there a certain thing that will help you confirm do you, if you find other things or are there certain things you find? Um, so for the courthouse, we've kind of had a discussion. What is that one artifact that you might associate with a courthouse? Um, and there probably isn't one. Um, probably it's more um, that we're not finding artifacts that we would say are not associated with the courthouse. Um, so we're finding bottle uh, bottle bases, we're finding um, pipe stems, we're finding window glass and window lead, and those are all consistent with what might be found at a courthouse. You really are a detective. Oh, definitely. Right now, yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. So talk about Saturday's event, because this is a chance for people to learn about this and really see it up close in a, in a unique way. Yeah, so on Saturday, we are commemorating the 300th anniversary of the opening of the first Spotsylvania County Courthouse. Um, the first case was held uh, in the courthouse on September 1st, 1724. So we're a little bit late, about a week late. Um, and with, if visitors come, they will be able to come out here and see this foundation where we're digging. And also what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the first case that is recorded in hmm. the court order book um, at the courthouse. What a great opportunity and what, and what history yeah. is right here. Yeah, and the first case is very interesting. Uh, so it's the case of a Saponi man named Sonny who uh, passed through town August 28, 1724. Um, and people, the townspeople who interacted with him, they got a little bit nervous by some of the things that he was saying. He was implying that he had some knowledge about an attack on Virginia by the Hall No Shawnee, um, who had taken Sawney prisoner a couple years earlier. Interesting. So it's not yeah. just any, it's not just some routine case. No, no, no. It's not somebody who owes somebody money. Um, this is something that was considered a threat to all of Virginia. Yeah. So for information on Saturday's event, just go to the Historic Germano website, website or Facebook page. Facebook page. Yeah, that would be great. And, uh, and see what you have to do. It's, this is just so interesting that something like this is being, you know, in the, you know, in the, the, the woods of Orange County. Yeah. You're finding something this, this, this significant. Yeah, you'd never know we were back here. We're, um, if you're able to come out, we're back here in the middle of the woods. Um, you have to take a short path to get back here, um, kind of hidden away, but a really significant site with a really interesting history. Last year, we finished uncovering uh, this wall that you see here. It is part of the foundation wall for the structure that we think may be the first Spotsylvania County Courthouse. It's dry laid stone and much of the wall, uh, as you can see kind of in these sidewalls here, collapsed. Um, this giant stone pile behind us is the five tons of stone that we've removed um, as we're excavating. And all that five tons is just the rubble that collapsed. Um, so what we're trying to do in this unit here where Constance and Gabby are digging is we're trying to just find the other side of the wall so we can see how wide okay. the foundation wall is. Um, also, you can see in these walls here, we have a really thick layer of charcoal, uh, which is not something we were expecting to find. The charcoal is right on top of what would have been the original floor of the structure. Um, and we're not sure yet because we just discovered this. Um, does it mean that the structure burned? Is it related to the burning of the structure? Is it related to a hearth um, that might have been nearby? Um, we're still not sure. Um, but really thick layer of charcoal right on top of the floor of the structure. 
So we're hoping to answer questions by uh, opening this unit here. How fascinating though, to be able to see this, to see this and just know it's been, you know, all these years mm -hmm. where, you know, it hasn't, you know, it's been underground. Yeah, yeah. So for 300 years, um, about, uh, it's been underground. So uh, we really have to dig carefully, peel back those layers so we know what's from 100 years ago, what's from 200 years ago, and what is the original structure. And, um, and you're finding artifacts. Oh yeah, yeah. And a lot of the artifacts are uh, architectural. So nails and window glass and window lead, um, which just shows us that there was a, a big building here. All right, so we got a couple nails here, which we find a lot of, especially around structures, you know, architectural artifacts. Then we get some ceramics, like the stoneware. Um, I think this is glazeless, so it might just be, you know, a glazeless piece of earthenware. And then this we identified as Staffordshire slipware, which is a, I think a mid 18th century sort of ceramic, so that's cool. There's some uh, flat glass and some bottle glass, um, which bottle glass tends to be green. And then this is cool. I found pieces of a pipe stem. I'm not sure if they like go together or mend. We got part of a stem, uh, part of a bowl, and then more of that bowl. So I'm not sure if these go together in any way, but that would be interesting. It's not often you can see a dig like this so up close and in such in such the, the, the early stages of it. Oh, right. Um, so we just open up excavations here. Uh, a lot of times you'll go to a place where they have big blocks open. Um, this is really just us starting to figure out what's here. 